hi guys it's your girl oluchi and welcome back to my youtube channel how are you all doing so today i'll be showing you the easiest way to make a bonus soup guys so if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel what are you still waiting for please subscribe now like this video for me and drop me some lovely comments and i would really really appreciate that okay so like i said i'll be showing you the easiest way to make a bonus soup so let's go straight into hey it's me First of all, I'll be adding my red oil inside a clean pot. I won't allow it to bleach because I'm not frying my obono. So this is my obono. I'm just going to add it inside the red oil and melt the obono. I'm not frying it. I'm melting the obono. So after melting the obono, I will add in my meat and the stock inside the obono. The meat I'm using is goat's meat, beef. I also have stock fish and pomo inside and i also added um dry fish so this is my pepper i blended it with my crayfish so i added everything together so the next thing i'll be adding is my okbeye if you like you can iru if you're yoruba but i'm an Igbo girl you know now <laughs> so i'll be adding okbeye stir everything together to combine and i'll be adding water because i feel that it's very thick just a little bit of water and I'll co cover it and allow it to cook so please don't mind my voice I'll be down for over two days that's why my voice is like that so now let's check on our bonus soup guys you see that oh my gosh this is looking good remember that I have this uh, leftover fish I decided to add it I allowed everything to combine so now I'll be adding my seasoning cube I seasoning my meat so I tested it before adding another seasoning cube again so I add my seasonings and my salt so now I'm just going to stir everything to combine so guys if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel tell me what are you still waiting for please kindly hit that subscribe button right now okay so now it's time to add in our okra so now i just add in my okra and i stir everything to combine and i noticed that my obono is very thick but if you like your obono thick you can leave it but i add in a little bit of water to it but you can just keep this part if you like your obono thick so now it's time to add in our ugu leaf I'm just going to cover it and allow to cook for just a minute because I love my ugu fresh. So, and guess what, guys? Our soup is done. Tell me what you like to enjoy with your bono soup. Is it semo? Is it pandad yam? Tell me at the comment section, okay? But I will enjoy my own with some pandad yam guys so now it's time to serve and enjoy make sure you share this with your family and friends guys anyone you like okay so guys thank you so much for watching this video and if you haven't subscribed please make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel like this video for me and drop me some lovely comments and i will see you in my next video bye Bye, enjoy.